outside of my eyelash appointment um, salon because I'm early per usual. I'm like chronically punctual person. It's 930. My appointment's not until 945 and these lashes need some serious help. Um, but um, after I come out, you will see they will look much, much better. One of these days I'll like put makeup on for you guys or something. I feel like I always look so horrible in these videos. So uh, bear with me guys. This is just real life. Appointment. Z Beauty Lounge, guys. Winchester Boulevard. She does the best job ever. All right, guys, lashes done. Time to get back to work and get back home, back to my home office. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am going to film a full day of eating for you guys because that has been a really requested video just to give you guys different ideas because, um, it can get boring, it can get hard to decide what to eat, and so, yeah, I will show you what I'm eating today. But first, I had to show you this, what's going on at my desk. Check these guys out. So I'm trying to get some work done. Obviously, this is my home office, and Charles sits behind me in the chair, and now Karma has decided that she's gonna sit on my desk from now on. And then, of course, I've got Apollo as a constant companion as well. But this is where I spend the majority of my day. This is my office and a lot of the products that I'm reviewing and stuff like that, I kind of stock in these cabinets. And yeah, so I'm gonna get some work done. It's nowhere near time to break my fast. <clears throat> I think I've got, it's about one o'clock actually, so a couple hours, a couple hours. So when I sit here to get my work done, you guys, this is like my lifeline because I plan out all of my content, all of the things that I have to get done. Everything is in here. So um, as I highlight in pink, that means it's done. So I love highlighting and I like seeing lots of pink because that means lots of productivity. So um, this is where I sit down. I'll do go through emails and um, do my client check-ins, whoever's scheduled today, I will spend time on that, and then I'll work on some of my other stuff, my keto plans, stall busters. It's never a dull moment when you work for yourself. Um, you have to be have really good time management, really good discipline. Um, I had an appointment today, a lash appointment, and I'm taking today off from working out because I have a lot going on, and I've been really consistent in the gym, so I'm okay with taking about two days off a week. Today is one of them because I'm just trying to get all of my work done. So I like to make these videos not just about um, exactly what I do, what I eat, and what's going on in my day, not just you know a typical vlog. I like to make them informative as well and um, cover a topic at least. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about intermittent fasting. It's something that I practice regularly, but I never actually go into why I'm practicing it and the benefits. So if um, intermittent fasting is foreign to you or if you do it and don't necessarily know why you're doing it, um, that's what I kind of just wanted to go over. So intermittent fasting basically means that you contain your eating period to a specific number of hours and the rest of the hours in a 24 hour period, you are fasting. So um, intermittent fasting can be many different styles. Um, the most common for beginners is to do a 16 hour fast with an eight hour eating window. So what that would look like is maybe you eat all of your calories from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. and then from 8 p.m. until the next day at 12 you are fasting. So that is the typical most common 16 hour fast um, with an eight hour eating window really successful, really great way to start. Um, that is at a, the very minimum what I aim for is at least a 16 hour fast with an eight hour eating window. Um, but as I progressed in my journey and just became really used to fasting and extremely fat adapted, it became much easier to fast longer and it's actually really convenient because you can use fasting to plan around really busy days or travel days. 
Um, but just naturally, my schedule has evolved to anywhere from 18 to 21 hours fasted. So um, typically, I would say the most common is like 19 to 20 hours for me. Um, some of the benefits of fasting, you guys, it's really important just to understand that your body can only store body fat when it's in the fed state. So the only opportunity for your body to actually store fat and um, put weight on you is during those hours that you're eating, so during your eating window. So if you think about it this way, if you are eating in a lesser a number of hours, right off the bat you're giving your body less opportunity for fat storage. Um, your body can only burn fat and release fat during your fasted state. So the more hours that you fast throughout the week, the more opportunity you are giving your body to fast. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to fast every day, but at least give your body, um, you know, at least try, especially initially incorporating some smaller fasts. And then I actually recommend incorporating at least one longer fast per week. So what I mean by longer fast is at least 20 hours one time per week, especially if you are over the age of 40. And the reason for that is the, all of the anti-aging benefits. Once you surpass that 16 hour mark, you are really getting into some of those anti-aging benefits. So not only weight loss and fat loss, um, but it increased growth hormone and increased um, shedding of the damaged cells out of your body, which just is overall really great for preserving youth in your body. And it will start to show in your skin, in your hair, in the way you feel. Um, and so for those of us who are over 40, some of those anti-aging properties are, you know, probably become a little more important because that's when you start to see all of these lovely signs of aging. And um, I honestly think that from the beginning of my keto journey, well, I would say from the beginning of my intermittent fasting journey, when I started intermittent fasting a few years ago to now, I have actually seen significant changes in my appearance. And I attribute that to intermittent fasting proper supplementation, incorporating collagen, all of those things. I don't know if I can really um, put my finger on one thing, but the science does show that once you incorporate some of those extended fasts, you are literally increasing human growth hormone, which honestly is like the fountain of youth. And I've definitely seen those benefits in my own aging process, whereas, you know, pictures that I look at from three years ago, where technically I should look at least three years younger three years ago, um, and I look at pictures now, and I've either stayed the same or show improvements, which is pretty amazing. It's kind of like stopping the clock. So that's another really big reason why I incorporate intermittent fasting. But also, intermittent fasting is another excellent way to force your body to... Um, dip into stored body fat because once you are at like that 12 hour point and you exceed 12 hours of fasting, your body has kind of burned through all of its fuel from food that you have consumed. It takes about 12 hours to burn through that fuel. So once you pass that 12th hour, guess what your body is doing? It is converting stored body fat into ketones for energy. So that 12 hour mark up until you start eating again, that is like the holy grail period of time where you are dipping into stored body fat, burning fat, really getting some good results. And if you add in some cardiovascular activity during those magic hours, you are even going to accelerate the fat loss process even more. That's really when you're gonna to start to see some body composition changes. It's a really great way to break a stall. So if you haven't incorporated intermittent fasting, um, consider incorporating it. If you're already incorporating intermittent fasting, change it up a little bit. Do a longer fast, maybe do a 24 hour fast in there, or um, just kind of switch up your schedule and do some longer fast that will shock the body. Also incorporate cardiovascular exercise after that 12th hour fasted, 
when you're in those extended hours and that is when you're really going to see some excellent body composition changes. So I will get off my high horse on intermittent fasting, but if you have not utilized intermittent fasting as a weight loss tool or just an anti-aging tool, um, I definitely recommend incorporating it because um, you'll really start to see some excellent benefits when you combine that with a really good clean ketogenic lifestyle. So I didn't have my typical espresso this morning. This is just a venti Americano um, that I'm just sipping on. I just have it black. A lot of people ask me like what I put in my coffee. Um, I used to do like really robust keto coffees with all the goodies in there. But um, just that where I'm at in my journey right now, I'm doing a really high protein keto. And so I don't necessarily need a lot of the added fats. The only time I will use um, added fats is if I'm maybe um, eating, consuming like a lean meat because where I'm getting most of my fats is from nuts and then just consuming fatty meats. But if I have something like chicken, I will absolutely add avocado oil or um, some other healthy fat source so that I make sure that I am getting in an adequate amount of fats to reap the benefits of um, the keto diet, but I don't go overboard on fats. I'm usually anywhere from 55 to 60%. The remainder is protein, keep my carbs really low. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't, I just do black coffee. I've gotten really used to it. And um, I actually like to eat my calories also rather than consume them. So I much rather have a tablespoon of olive oil in like a you know my lunch or a chicken dish or something like that than an mct oil in my coffee because i like to eat my calories so it's a personal preference really i think keto coffees bulletproof coffees are excellent especially early on in your journey um, when you're trying to get fat adapted those extra fats really do um, help your body get used to digesting the added the added fats and it also helps your body to um, learn how to convert those digestive, uh, um, convert those fats into ketones so that they can be used for energy. So it really does depend on where you're at in your journey as well and also what your macros are and what your goals are. I'm going to take out some salmon. This is actually going to be for dinner, um, but I need to take them out because they are frozen. I got these at Sprouts. They're the wild caught, which I always try to get wild caught if I can. Um, I think these have skin on them though. I hope not, but I prefer skinless. Makes it easier. So what I do for the salmon, and this is not dinner yet, so I'm kind of a little out of order, but um, I have to at least take them out because they're frozen and I like to just thaw them out. Um, I'll just throw them in the sink and kind of let them thaw out, but I'm gonna make these in the air fryer and oh, they are skinless, perfect. So these are like the skinless, boneless, wild caught from Sprouts, which I love. So I'm gonna take out four pieces because one piece for each. There's, my daughter is home this week, so um, she will be eating. She will be eating as well. It's super easy, guys, to prepare these in the air fryer and they come out so good with kind of like a nice, really seasoned, um, crispy crust so I will show you that in a second but for now I'm just taking these out and I'm going to get ready to um, break my fast with some yogurt so let's do that okay guys while I am in the kitchen and trying to kill some time because it's only two o'clock it's not quite time to break my fast I wanted to talk to you guys about water and the importance of drinking water so it is really really important to get in at least half of your body weight in ounces of water per day. So for me, the minimum water I should drink is at least 60 ounces a day. I really typically drink about 80, which is just two of my hydro flasks filled up. Um, I try to go for a third one. I just never quite finish the third one, but I usually hit the 80. Um, a couple of reasons why this is so beneficial for you. For one, just overall hydration is just so important for so many functions in the body. Um, but there are some pretty cool things about drinking water, especially cold water. I know um, the best way to um, keep your metabolism going and to burn the most amount of calories with the least amount of activity is by increasing, increasing your basal metabolic rate, 
which is basically the amount of energy your body uses while doing nothing. And you can do that by consuming ice water because when you consume water that's really cold, your body is in a constant state of trying to regulate its temperature, which literally increases your, um, your burn that day. So you're using more energy simply by drinking water. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is it's really important to give your body time to absorb the water. So I know you're trying to get in that 80 ounces or however many ounces that you're trying to get in. Don't do it by trying to gulp it all down at once because that is really counterproductive. It's not allowing your body time to really absorb that water and reap all of the benefits of hydration. What it does is simply quickly fills your bladder and then your, your bladder quickly empties itself and so you have to run to the bathroom and so that water is basically going in and out and you're not getting the benefits. So even though you're checking off those check marks of how many ounces you drink, you're really not getting that many ounces if you're just gulping a bunch of water. So the best course of action when it comes to water is to I recommend getting something like this, like a Hydro Flask. So like this one is a 40 ounce Hydro Flask. I'll link it below on Amazon. Um, and sip, you know, fill it up in the morning, sip it all day long, about halfway through the day, fill it up again, sip it the rest of the day, um, you know, kind of equally throughout the day. Obviously you're still gonna have to go to the bathroom a lot, but you're not going to be chugging all kinds of water and then running to the bathroom. That's a sign that you're drinking too fast you should be um, doing it much more slowly. You're gonna reap the benefits, the true benefits of the hydration if you do it that way. So hopefully that is a good little tip for you guys. Um, I myself need to work on that because I tend to let myself get thirsty and then gulp a bunch of water, which that is um, not good. If you are getting really thirsty, you are not drinking enough and slowly enough. You should never really even get to that point where you're thirsty. Just carry it with you. Get this handy dandy little handle for it. I also got this little handle. It's like a bungee cord. Um, makes it really convenient to walk around with it and just constantly be drinking. That's gonna be your best bet. So hopefully that was helpful. Drink up. So on days that I get a little hungrier prior to the time that I typically like to break my fast, I just listen to my body and I go ahead and go for it. Um, but what I like to do, and since this is a non-workout day, I'm skipping the whey protein. I'm going to make my little, um, I call this kind of like my homemade energy drink. And let me show you what that is. I've talked about it in previous videos before, but this is a, um, from Consult Health, it's called Kalahala. It's basically an unflavored collagen protein, pure protein, nothing else in it but collagen. And I like it because it's only 30 calories, so it will break my fast. So this is one of those days that I'm gonna break my fast with my little energy drink. And so that is one scoop of the unflavored collagen. And then I also do a scoop of this Primo Beats, which this is where you're getting the energy from. It's an excellent, excellent source of energy, really great for circulation, anti-inflammatory in the body, um, and it tastes really good. It's just, it's also from Consult Health. I'll link all of this stuff be below. Really good health benefits of beets. So I'm getting the health benefits of beets without the carbohydrates, because if you just eat beets or you get beets from the grocery store, you're gonna get carbs in there. This does not have any carbs, and it's only 15 calories, so 30 calories for my collagen, 15 calories for the beets. And what this also does is it gives me a good, clean burst of energy, as well as, um, prolongs my, it, it just curbs my appetite, so I won't actually get hungry to eat for a little bit longer. Then I also put the Ultima Replenisher Powder in there, so it's some electrolytes, and this is a lemonade flavor, and this just makes the best little drink. I honestly just love it. And then if I'm feeling really low energy, I will also add a scoop of the Perfect Keto um, Ketones right into this, like in the vanilla flavor. And that will be like a supercharged 
super clean energy drink. I know people are into like the Bing energy and things like that, but I, I just, I'm a little leery about energy drinks. I feel like they cause stalls. There's lots of weird ingredients in there. Um, this is something that's super nutritious and is going to give you good clean energy. You're gonna get your collagen, you're gonna get your beets, and you're gonna get your electrolytes all from this little 45 calorie, very, very yummy drink. So here it is, you mix it up. The beets kind of get clumpy, but if you just continue to stir, it'll kind of um, dissolve. And then I'll enjoy this refreshing drink. It's actually really good for like a, you know, a hot summer day. I'll enjoy this. And then as soon as I'm hungry after I have this drink, which it will prolong it a little bit, then I will go ahead and have my first official solid meal. So uh, for now, I'm just going to enjoy my drink. And there you have it. So what I'm going to do now is I just turned on my air fryer. I am going to plop in one of these sausages. These are from Costco. They are the chicken paleo pork-free sausage, organic plant-based casing. Um, they're very clean, no nitrates, no preservatives or anything like that, and really, really good. So all I do is I just take the entire sausage and I plop it into the air fryer for about 15 minutes on 400. It makes the, the crust or the outside really crispy. So I just take it, plop it in there, 400 for like 17 minutes or so. Oops, I just turned it off. Start. And while that is cooking, I will um, eat some yogurt. So I am gonna have a Dan and Too Good yogurt in vanilla. So I don't like to eat it right out of the little casing. So I open it up and then I just kind of mix it because it's watery on the top. And I put it into a bowl. I've got it here in my bowl. These little wood bowls I love for having my yogurt. I actually got these in Hawaii. I wish I had gotten more um, because I use them a lot and I can tell they're kind of getting worn out. But next time I see them, hopefully when I go to Mexico, they'll have something like that there as well. But so I've got my yogurt, but I usually top my yogurt with something. Today I'm gonna try this one. Um, which is, this is the Stoka Bar cereal in vanilla almond flavor. This is actually a cereal that you can have just with almond milk, uh, but I like to use it as like a granola. And um, one serving size on here is 250 calories, but that's for half a cup. You don't need half a cup to top my yogurt, so I'm gonna go with a quarter cup, and that would make it only 125 calories. Definitely check them out, guys. Um, I love Stoka Bar. I used to just use the bars itself and crush them up. And um, it has a really nice crunch to it. Let me get my measuring cup. So I'm just gonna take a quarter cup, measure that out, and put that right over the top of my yogurt. And it's just enough and it's so delicious, guys. I, I literally have this like every day. I, I change up the toppings a little bit on the yogurt, but I really do have a yogurt like every single day. And this stuff, so good. So I am going to enjoy, enjoy my yogurt and then I'll come back to you guys when my sausage is done so I can show you what I do with my sausage. You guys, I'm gonna give you another pro tip. Practice mindful eating. What do I mean by mindful eating? I mean, get comfortable, stop working, stop doing everything else, put on your favorite show, sit down, relax, and really enjoy the food. 
Oftentimes, people get in a really bad habit of eating on the go, eating in their car, eating at their desk, and that's mindless eating, and your body and your brain doesn't even register that you've eaten. Have you ever, like, just ate your entire meal and you were so busy working on other things that you didn't even remember eating it? That's a really bad habit. So I'm really careful about really making my eating an experience. So I always like to get comfortable, stop working for a little bit, enjoy my food. I like to usually put on a show, something mindless, and um, yeah, just enjoy my meal thoroughly, every single bite. So my sausage is done. So I just, and you can tell, see how crispy, like, the air fryer makes it on the outside. It's so good that way. I am taking half of one of these cut the carbs and I'm just toasting it up a little bit with just a little bit of butter. And I will roll the sausage in that. So then I just put the sausage in and rolled it up and now I'll just let it get nice and toasty. And that will be it for that. Also going to have some of this kimchi. I picked this up at Sprouts. It's basically like a pickled cabbage. That's how I would describe it. Let's see if you can see the stats. It's really low calorie. It's really good. Really good for keto. It's a really popular keto dish. But yeah, so this is a mild white kimchi. They also had a spicy version. I'm not quite into spicy. So this is my, concludes my meal number one. So I had the yogurt with the granola. Sorry. And now I've got um, a little bit of kimchi with the sausage rolled up in this cut the carb. I will link these down below if you have not tried these. They're an excellent low carb wrap. So check the description box for that. But it's really, really good. So this is it for meal number one. So now that I ate my first meal, I am going to take my On It Total Human, the day pack, and the night pack I will put aside and I take this with my like last snack of the day. I'm still sticking to my um, two meals a day. So even though it's multiple things, it's not really just two separate meals, I just eat in two periods. So I, ate, I eat at around three o'clock, and you saw what I ate, the yogurt, the sausage, and then I wait again and I eat at seven o'clock and I'll eat whatever dinner I have planned, which you will see what I'm eating today, along with a snack. So I just combine the two. So I'm only ever having like two eating periods of day. This helps to control the insulin response in your body. Um, and then once in a while, I will do just one meal a day. So maybe like once a week I do the one meal a day, which actually works really well too. It works really, really well on super, super busy days. Um, so yeah, I'm about to take this. So the afternoon when I am crashing a little bit and, and need a little bit more energy to kind of get through my day, especially if I have a lot going on, that's when I take the Keto BHB pills because it's a good clean energy and it's gonna just give me that mental clarity and focus but it's not going to give me insomnia. So at this point in the day, I can no longer drink any more caffeine or coffee or anything like that. So that's when I take a couple of the um, BHB capsules if I need it. And I kind of am needing it today because I have a lot going on still. So I'm gonna take two of these. It is about four o'clock. So I'll take two of these to get me through the rest of my evening. All right, guys, so I am going to start preparing dinner and I'm going to make Brussels sprouts and I just get them like this in the bag. I usually like them halved already because they get a little crunchier. I make these in the air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take them out of this bag. I'm gonna have them up and then I will show you what I do with them before I put them into the air fryer. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. back my life inside a car Hit the button, drive real far
I've got these salmon fillets and they are thawed out. So I've got them on foil because they're going to go into the air fryer on foil. Let's put this out of the way. So I want to show you that I just made a little seasoning in here and I put just anything that I like. I like chili pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, garlic salt, salt, parsley, and it's just, you know, all mixed together. I like to take just like an olive oil spray and spray them with the olive oil just to, so that the seasoning will stick. And then just spoon the seasoning onto each filet. Be generous with the seasoning, super generous. It'll be nice and flavorful. I will use all of this. into the top of the filet and then turn them over because you want the seasoning side down. So as soon as the brussels are done I will pop the salmon in. These actually cook really fast. 370 for about eight minutes and then they are done. So what I did is just took a bowl with some fresh spinach and I added my crunchy Brussels sprouts to the bowl. I am going to include some green goddess salad dressing. This is from Trader Joe's and then I'm just gonna top it with my salmon. So here is the final dinner, the salmon on top with the Brussels sprouts inside, the green goddess dressing and the spinach. So I am going to finish out my day of eating with a, a couple of squares of this new chocolate that I just tried. I actually picked this up from Sprouts and it is sweetened with monk fruit. It's a pretty big bar actually and it's 120 calories for half the bar and six grams of net carbs. Sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. So it's actually a really good um, chocolate alternative and it tastes really good. I was pleasantly surprised. It's a very creamy texture.